Hey there lovely friends, it's me Miss Holly and I'm so excited to welcome you to Storytime with Miss Holly. Get ready to meet quirky characters, go on wild adventures and maybe even discover a dragon or two. So buckle up and let's venture into the land of storybooks where dreams come to life and adventures are only a page turn away. Hi everyone. Sorry, I just didn't want to trip over any of the pumpkins in the field. Can you see them all? They're all getting ready to get picked for Halloween. Today's story is called The Happy Pumpkin. And if you look at this book, I wonder if you can see that. There we go. You can see it changing. Sad, happy. <laughs> it's quite cool. It's all about getting picked. The best pumpkin getting picked for Halloween. Let's have a look. It was almost Halloween and pumpkins everywhere were getting excited. Today, every pumpkin in town would be chosen by a child to make into a shiny but scary lantern. Up in the meadow, the children came to pick their pumpkins and take them home. One group of pumpkins, still waiting in the field, argued about who would be the scariest. They all wanted to be chosen first. One pumpkin didn't say anything. He wasn't scary. He was smiley. The other pumpkins all laughed at him. <laughs> who wanted a happy pumpkin for Halloween? You have a look we can see the pumpkins talking with each other this one says no my teeth are scarier i'll get chosen first my eyes are scary as the sun began to set in the sky the shadows got darker and longer the pumpkins made their most frightening faces each desperate to be chosen by a child I want this one. I love it. This one looks so scary. I want this one. It wasn't long before most of the pumpkins had been chosen. The meadow began to look bare and empty. Some rabbits hopped by and looked at the pumpkins. Soon, only two pumpkins were left. One of them was the smiley, happy pumpkin. Hmm, I'm sure I'll be picked next. I really hope someone will pick me. After the sun went down and the meadow was dark, just as the pumpkin picking was closing for the night, two children entered. The girl wasn't scared of the dark. She grabbed the scary pumpkin and ran to show her parents. But the little boy looked scared and hid behind his mum. The boy shivered in the dark. He didn't like the night or the big field. He didn't really like Halloween and he didn't want a pumpkin with a frightening face. Then he saw the happy pumpkin. This one looks friendly. Can I have it? And the happy pumpkin didn't just smile, he shone. Because we all shine our brightest when we are just who we are. I love that story. It's such a wonderful message that we don't need to be like everyone else. We're perfect when we are being exactly ourselves. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'll see you soon. Bye.